So, what is up guys, and welcome back to another video. For those who are new here, my name is Twistokes TV, formerly known as Johan, or JV, uh, for that matter. So today, I'm basically, I'm telling you guys about something I've been keeping quiet for a few weeks, a few, a few months actually. I think it's about five, five months now. So, um, this is something that's very important in my life something that will change the way i do my vlogs with the way i basically live as i said in uh, i think it's my pubg series if you haven't checked that check, just check the annotation uh, up top um so guys um what i want to talk to you about is i'm going to be a dad i'm going to be a father and i think that is one of the best gifts to um, receive in life when it's uh having a child or um, raising a child better than you were raised so basically so guys I'm going to be a father in exactly four months from now four months and ten days that's that's exactly on Christmas but the doctor said uh, baby will be born between the 21st and the 31st 31st I think so yeah, uh, I will keep you guys updated on that though. So I'm going to be a dad and today I would like to talk to you guys about my experience and my fears of um, of having a child and um, how I convince myself that I'll actually be a great father um, for, my, for my child. And I hope you guys enjoy this and the next video. So... The first time I went with my girlfriend to the sauna, that was around about a month ago, um, I realized that, that this was a reality. I mean, this is not a joke, this is not um, like getting a, um, a laptop or getting a PC, it's, it's, not, it's not the same, it's, it's really a responsibility, it's something that you will have to put in 110% effort, it's not just it's not games you know it's it's, it's not games it's, this is serious so i realized that i'll have a responsibility to uh, a little one um, looking up to me and the mother yeah the girlfriend it will be the mom we basically took the step together and we are very happy with this choice so as i stood there with my girlfriend in the in the room while the doctor did these scans um I experienced, experienced the baby's face for the first time. I stood there with tears in my eyes as I heard their heartbeat. At the sonos they play you the heartbeats of your of the baby to make sure the baby is okay and still alive. And I had tears in my eyes guys. I mean this is something of I can't even explain how I felt to be honest like it's an experience for me and I'm happy. I mean, hearing the heartbeat, it, it may gave me this kind of happiness that I can't explain to you guys. I think all the, the fathers out there that watch my videos, you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. I mean, you guys had that same experience. So, I mean, I was so excited and happy at the same time in, in ways that I can't explain. But there was also this part of me, I'm not sure if you dads out there or the moms out there can relate to this. There was a part of me that actually I was I was fearing a lot of things. I mean, I had this one fear of... Um, the one fear I had was basically, um, what if I'm not ready to be a father? And I'm going to name a few few fears that I've had. Probably put them in the video as well, so you can guys can read them. Um, I had a fear of what if I wasn't ready? What if I'm not ready to have, to be a father? Um, what if I don't know what I'm doing? What if I'm not patient and by accident hurt the baby? 
Because I don't know if I'm, I'll be patient enough. What if the child needs me and I'm not there? But I don't have the money to support the baby. And I don't have the money for it. So what do I do then? So I've got a few fears. And one of my biggest fears is, will be probably this one. And it is, what if the baby doesn't love me the way the baby loves the mom? And whenever I hold her as a dad, I basically end up getting a baby that's just crying. One of my biggest fears is, um, what if the baby doesn't love me and cries whenever I hold her? Old him or her. I'm not sure what's the gender yet. So I hope you guys actually watch the video where we do a gender reveal. So yeah. Um, my top three uh, fears will be. Uh, number three. Which is the lowest. Will be. What if I'm not patient enough? Number two will be. What if the baby doesn't love me and cries whenever I hold her. Or him. Um, and my worst fear number one would be. What if I raise my child the way I was raised? I want, don't want to raise my child to be the same way. Um, to raise my child to be uh, who I am. I want my child to be better. I want, I want ha the baby to have a better life than I used to have. As, uh, as I've been, I was raised uh, with multiple losses of houses with uh, my dad um, we lost our mate our first house that i was basically raised in we lost our second house due to us being teenagers you know we party and whatever and we basically ended up in randburg where we finally started realizing that life's not games we start and we have to work we have to earn money to survive one day and as i reached the age of i think 19 I started realizing, you know, I can't play games anymore. I can't sit in front of my PC, play games, got a job, and start making money. So, guys, don't drop out of school. It's one of my biggest regrets. But I am happy where I am today, as if I didn't drop out of school, I would probably never have met my girlfriend. So, it's a win-win. Um, I don't want to raise my child to be... Um, in between parents, I mean, my mom lives in Durban, my dad lives here in uh, Gauteng, and now the problem is with that is I was moved between them a lot. I like I lived with my mom for four years, and then I moved back to my dad for like a year or two, and then go back to my mom for like three months, and then go back to my dad again. So I was shipped, I was basically moving around between parents the whole time, and that's something I don't want for my child. And I hope you guys can relate to that for those who um, actually had to move around between parents because they are divorced. So, but yeah, that's no offense, guys. It's no offense. My parents are divorced since I was two or three, and I got used to it. So, um, but I had to convince myself that no matter the struggle, I'll be, I'll always have my girlfriend and parents to help me and support me when. Whenever I struggle, whenever I need help, and wherever I need, I made mistakes or make mistakes, guys. This is one thing I would recommend: is always have someone that can support you. I mean, most parents out there will support you and help you whenever you need um, help with your baby or your child to um, do the right thing. I mean, where you need to basically change diapers and you're doing it wrong they can help you doing it right they did it for you you can do it for your child i mean don't be a don't be scared to ask it's just a question the worst that can happen is they can say no so um so no matter the struggles me and my girlfriend will go through there's always a way there's always someone that will support us and help us where we struggle called uh, as long as we keep positive about the pregnancy and about raising this child, we will succeed. We will um, pull through and we will survive as a little family. But one thing I can say already, after I heard, I saw the baby for the first time, I can honestly say, I love this baby nearly as much as I love my girlfriend. And the baby's not even born yet. Just by seeing that face and that little hand, I mean, guys, it's the cutest thing ever. I can't explain this to you 
in enough words. It's the best experience I've had in such a long time. And um, due to me loving this child already, even though the baby's not even born yet, that makes me already one step closer to being a loving and great father for my child. I'm pretty sure that I will struggle a lot of times, but I will always try my best and work as hard as I can so that I will always be there for the baby and always uh, support the baby wherever I can. Support my girlfriend wherever I can in getting things that's needed. Um, so this is one thing I've said about my YouTube as well. It's been a, it's honestly, it's been an amazing journey seeing how you grow on YouTube. I mean, gaining views, gaining subs, like gaining watch hours, and you, you see people liking your content. It's one of the best feelings I, like, I can't even explain. It's an awesome feeling, but the best feeling I've ever experienced in my life, the best journey I've ever walked, would be the journey that I'm walking now with my girlfriend in this pregnancy of, and she's been having. So it's been around about four, four months and one week that she's been pregnant. I'm not sure how many weeks is that, so I'll just add it somewhere. Um, so it's, it's basically, it's, it's been a journey already. It's been like four months of a journey already walking with my girlfriend and it's, I can't explain how I feel about it because there's not, in, there's, there's no words created yet to explain how I feel about, um, this whole pregnancy and seeing the baby's face for the first time, hearing that heartbeat for the first time. So, I can basically finally say that I am ready to be a father. I'm ready to be a dad, and I know that I'll be one of, I'll be the best dad I can be. That's all it's about, being the best that you can be. If you can, I mean, guys, just leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, or hit that thumbs up. I mean, really, just hit that thumbs up and show your support, show that you actually you're in the same spot as what i am today and guys i hope i hope you guys enjoyed this video and can relate obvious and if you do you know hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below so maybe we you can give me a few tips or i can give you a few tips of what um to think what to do in this time of Probably your girlfriend or your wife's pregnancy if you have any struggles so guys I've had amazing journey so far and I want to thank all of you guys for showing your love and support on my channel subscribing and watching my videos um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video I really do and there's a video coming at 12 p.m. Saturday 18th of August. Go check, check it out. I want you to be a father. I want you to be a father.